Hey guys, while I'm in the spirit of making videos, I decided to make one more video, and uh, this one is going to be about screen sharing and uh, remote computer access. Uh, normally, this is good for anyone who does uh, any IT work, um, or if you just need to access a friend's computer to install something or fix something, or a neighbor's computer. Um, this video will review the top five uh, best screen sharing or online meeting programs that are available out there. Uh, currently and these are all five that I personally use the first one I want to talk about is join.me basically you tell someone to go to a website to join.me so instead of join.com or join.me.com the website is actually join.me the user would then go on and press click on start a meeting and they will actually host a meeting and the moment they press this a small little tiny program will download and if I do it you'll see it on my screen now I just clicked on it and it's going to try and run join.me right now. And what it does is it'll open a tiny little program and it'll provide a nine digit code uh, that kind of looks like a phone number. And this is exactly what they would see. So you would instruct them to go to join.me and they would execute this tiny little program. Uh, as you see, Windows Edge is perform performing a scan on it. You would run this tiny little program. Like I said, this is a really small little program. And once you run this little tiny program, uh, what the user is going to see is the following screen. It says connecting on the very top. Uh, and it's going to provide you with a nine-digit code. That nine-digit code they would give to you or anyone who wishes to connect. And when you go back to join.me, there you go. Here is my code. My code is 684178639. So now what happens is, is that I, I provide this particular code to somebody. Uh, and they would go on the same website, join.me. And they will put this code right here in the join meeting box. And once you click this little green uh, icon to join in, um, you would automatically be viewer number one. And you'll be able to view the person's desktop. And then they'll be able to share the screen with you by clicking on this button here and selecting share screen. You see my screen is not being shared. Um, it's a really, really neat little program. Because I can share my screen. I can also invite additional people. Um, with a professional version, which you get a free trial of, you can annotate on the screen directly. You can even record this particular meeting. You can create an audio connection so you can talk with headphones, uh, which is pretty cool. It's kind of like a little meeting. You know, four people, uh, five people can join into one machine, and you could do full audio conferencing. Uh, but more or less, the most important thing is to be able to see the screen. So I use this frequently, actually, with most of my users when they have computer problems, and I tell them, all right, can you go to this website, join.me, click on Start Meeting, just run that little program and give me that nine-digit code. That nine-digit code will allow you to go in, costs no money, requires almost no big software installation. It's almost instant. So that is my number one, uh, my number one, uh, remote screen sharing program. I love this program. It is actually very good. The next one would have to be Zoom.us, which is very, very similar to Join.me. Join.me is actually owned by uh, LogMeIn, and LogMeIn is actually fantastic. I use it a lot, but it's on a paid subscription basis. But um, Zoom.us is a really, really cool little thing, too, because a person can go to Zoom.us, click on Host a Meeting, and you can select either a meeting with video or without video. And what you would do as the end user is you would click on join a meeting. You would put the meeting ID in, very similar to how join.me works. The meeting ID is either 9, 10, or 11 digits. And once you hit join, you get the same exact um, features as you would with join.me. You'll be able to see the screen, request mouse controls. So you'll be able to control their desktop uh, and all a tiny little small application. So that is a very, very cool thing to have. Uh, especially if, if you uh, have uh, family members who need help doing things and you don't want to run to their computer or go over to their house, you could just have them go to zoom.us or to join.me. Now, in a work environment, you may want to do um, a WebEx session, which is the third program, which um, is really good for screen sharing. WebEx is actually very nice. Up to three people, you get a free meeting, um, and you can host a webinar. You can share your screen, and you can have viewers listen in, and they can actually participate. They can chat with you. And they can also do this, by the way, with join.me and zoom.us. With Cisco, Cisco's WebEx. Cisco is a really popular name uh, out there. And WebEx is a, is a really big competitor to GoToMeeting, which is the next one I'm going to show you. But this is really cool because you could just sign up uh, and either host a session or join a session. 
So they all work via codes, right? When I click on join a session, it'll actually ask me what the meeting number is, what is the name that you want announced when you join the meeting and the email address. So when someone um, hosts a meeting, you would ask them for their meeting number. And if you host a meeting, you would see the meeting number on your screen. And that is used for multiple um, multiple users to join in and see webinars. This is what most companies actually use for their webinars to teach software and uh, to teach computer usability. Kind of like the tutorial I'm making now, except you'll be able to have a live one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the person. So this is another really cool thing for uh, remote screen sharing. Uh, WebEx is awesome. Join.me again is one of my favorite and Zoom.us, which is an alternative to Join.me. They both work essentially the same way. Um, Cisco WebEx is mainly for meetings, but again, you can sign up for free and create a WebEx session for three people. If you purchase this, you can have up to, I think, 30 users <laughs> inside of a webinar um, if you plan on hosting webinars. Again, all of these are audio compatible. Not only you get to share your screen, you can also broadcast your voice, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and another thing is GoToMeeting. This is the fourth one. GoToMeeting is actually the, the big player out there. Everyone knows about it. You can start a 30-day trial of GoToMeeting, and you can actually email somebody a meeting link. So when you sign up for this, again, you have the same buttons as you do with everyone else. You can either join a meeting or host a meeting. So if I click on join a meeting, you don't have to be a registered person. You just put in the meeting ID number in here, and you can pretty much log in and, uh, and, and view the person's uh, screen, and they can grant control with you. So they offer you a bunch of things here. You can mute somebody, unmute them, share your screen, um, share a webcam. You can even change who the presenter is so they can show you the screen even though you're hosting the meeting, me meaning you're the organizer. Uh, another reason I like GoToMeeting is because it's very email friendly. They have an Outlook plugin. Um, you could just simply say, all right, I'd like to invi invite you to my meeting uh, at this particular c calendar time. It makes an appointment. Their Outlook will remind them when the meeting takes place. They click on a link and boom, it automatically, they don't even have to put in a nine digit ID number. The link already contains the nine digit number. Very similar to Join Me also and Zoom.us as a matter of fact. They all work the same. That's the funny part. But they're all different services and they all offer um, different things. Even though it's the same flavor of service, it's nice to know that there are different um, vendors out there that offer this particular types of service. So in, in this particular um, uh, service, you can actually send out meeting links um, directly integrated within Outlook, and it's it's very cool because you can host up to. Uh, I've been I was in a meeting before with I think 60 people at one point, um, and it was very cool, um, especially because you have more control as an organizer. You can actually choose to tell people, hey, simmer down, you know, and so you can present your stuff before letting them speak and so forth. And you can also record meetings and everything for playbacks. So you can put them on your website. Um, you know, a lot of people record webinars for offline viewers um, just to learn things, mainly software distribution and installation and things of that nature. And the last one, what I use frequently on a daily basis, is TeamViewer. So TeamViewer is very cool. Um, basically, it's a it's a tiny little program as well. It's not a big big program. I believe it's almost 25 megs, maybe less. Uh, and what TeamViewer does is it also provides you with a code. It's a client-based software. It's not web-based, more or less like uh, you have um, GoToMeeting, WebEx, uh, Zoom.us, and Join.me, where you can actually put in the meeting IDs on the website to join the meeting. TeamViewer actually requires you to have the client installed uh, on their computer and your computer. And I think I actually have it on my computer. Let me just check to see. Do I have it here? No, I don't. I have not installed it yet. I just recently upgraded to uh, Windows 10. I made a video about it three videos ago if you're interested in learning about Windows 10. But um, yeah, I've not installed it yet. But TeamViewer is really awesome in a sense where you have full unrestri un unrestricted administrative control over the computer that you're connecting to. Unlike Join.me, um, you, may, you may find it difficult performing some administrative tasks. But when you go in with TeamViewer, which is really cool, um, you just place a shortcut on the user's desktop, they double click it, it opens up, provides you with a, uh, a 9 to 12 digit code, and you would just plug it into your client. It's actually really good with Windows, Mac, uh, CentOS, and they even have an iPhone app that allows you to remote control a computer from a phone. Really, 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 really awesome, uh, especially if you are in the tech field. Like I said, all these things are really good for 
um, convenience, right? So you don't want to get up and go to someone's house or someone's office to fix something or do something, or you always want to make sure that a particular computer is always online and you want to perform maintenance on it. So you can use these programs and, and these techniques. Now, join.me, zoom.us, WebEx, and GoToMeeting, those are user-initiated, meaning once you join in a meeting, the, the actual person who you're joining has to actually allow you to control their computer, but not with TeamViewer. TeamViewer is the one thing that you can leave open on someone's computer uh, and just join in with their meeting and you immediately have full unrestricted control without them having to permit you to have access. Um, there's no audio sharing. TeamViewer is not really meant for meetings. It's really meant for um, support more than meetings, even though it says here that it's the all-in-one software for online meetings. Yeah, sure, you, you can use it for meetings, but it's not meant for that. It's really meant for remote technical support, troubleshooting, um, for a user to go in, not just fix things, but install, configure, and things of that nature. It is very good. It makes you feel as if you're in front of a computer, which you're not in front of. Um, I could show you right now, for example, I have LogMeIn uh, installed on this machine. And LogMeIn is actually, like I said, it's a subscription-based. But what LogMeIn does is LogMeIn allows you to... Uh, and here, I'm going to update this later. I'm going to connect to, let's say, my, my computer at work. So I click on remote control. So I can verify that the computer is on. I can just punch in my username and my password. And notice that I am now being connected remotely into my computer using LogMeIn. So there's my machine at work. Uh, and my office computer is currently online. This is monitor one. I have four monitors connected to it. And I can switch, switch between all four monitors. I can just log in and it takes me straight to my screen. So here's my screen at work. This is one of my monitors. And I'm literally remote controlling this computer as if I was in it. If you were in my office right now, you would see the mouse moving and, and, and things like that. And it'd be kind of freaky. But full unrestricted control, it's really awesome to have that. Right, let me lock my computer real quick. It's really nice to have that ability, uh, especially if you're managing remote machines. And let me shut this off. Um, so yeah, so I just wanted to make this video to emphasize on the top five. These are really the top five, the best um, hosted meetings uh, and remote troubleshooting um, software out there to remote control machines and to be able to, uh, to have uh, meetings with multiple people. And with some of them, you may not even have to pay a thing. I mean, with join.me, I don't pay. Um, I just start meetings frequently and so are the users I give it to and it doesn't cost a penny. Uh, Zoom.us is the same thing. There are obviously plans where, um, you know, basic is capped at a certain level, uh, but it's just good enough. You know, it's always just good enough unless you really need full-blown features, in which case WebEx and GoToMeeting are really good for that kind of thing. Uh, and TeamViewer is by far my favorite. Uh, so I do recommend you check that out. So I'm going to sum the video up with this. I hope you guys picked up on this. If you haven't heard of these services before, they're definitely worth checking out. Uh, thank you for watching my video. Um, subscribe. Uh, thank you for all my subscribers. I've gotten an actual influx in subscribers lately, so I want to thank everyone who has uh, watched my videos and my previous videos and have subscribed to my, um, to my channel. And I hope to bring you more great content. So thank you for watching.